Welcome to the personal CFO. I wanna do a follow-up video on my recent discussion of Apple going from $3 trillion in value and talking about how does it get to $4 trillion or does it get to $4 trillion? And the moral of the story or the short version is the way Apple got to $3 trillion in the first place was one, pretty good earnings, but the other is people are currently willing to pay a lot for every dollar in Apple's earnings. So people are just willing to pay more for those earnings. Another way of saying it, Apple's kind of expensive. Now, we discussed, well, what could happen in the future? Now, again, no one knows the future, but I happen to have a pretty good example of something that happened to a great company, and that's what we're going to discuss. So, Netflix is a company we are all aware of. They have great streaming shows, amazing movies, they've done a whole lot recently. And what if I were to tell you that Netflix today is worth the same that it was worth four years ago in 2018? That seems really hard to believe because they've done a lot. And let's talk about discussing fundamentals, so how the earnings done, and then the price people are willing to pay for those earnings, just like in the Apple video. So let's talk about the fundamentals first. Netflix earnings back in 2018 was around $900 million. It's pretty good. What is it today? Today, Netflix earnings is over $5 billion. So a substantial increase in earnings over these last four years. Incredible, by any measure. So why hasn't the stock price moved? It's gone up, it's come back down, and it's right now basically a wash. You've earned zero over the last four years. Why is that? Well, let's talk about what people were willing to pay for those earnings back in 2018. Well, back in 2018, people were willing to pay over 270 times earnings, which means for every dollar in earnings Netflix had, people were willing to pay $270 for each dollar in earnings. Well, where are we today? Well, today, people are willing to pay a little bit more than $30 for every dollar in earnings. So this is a perfect example of a company that has executed and implemented their strategy and done an incredible job of growing earnings, revenue, everything. And yet the stock price has gone up, it's gone down, and now we're back to where we were four years ago in an environment where the market has done fantastic. And so I think this is an important reminder to not just fall in love with companies because you never know what's gonna happen, but most importantly, we have to ask ourselves, what is the price that we're paying? Because in the long term, price matters. I hope you found this helpful, and as always, Thanks for investing your time with the personal CFO.